I'm Tim Strauss. I'm the fourth son, the youngest of four boys of my father, who's Pastor Strauss here for a little over 20 years. Uh, as the youngest, I grew up, spent most of my time in Emmanuel Faith. Uh, it's it's what, what I know best as, I, it's the only real home church I know that I grew up in. Um, and so then that whole first year we were here, the building process was going on at the new church. I was young enough that I didn't really understand how much was going on and what my dad was dealing with during that time. I've since then been involved in some large building projects uh, with our work overseas and realized um, I can't imagine what kind of added stress that added along with moving your family to a new place and everything else. Uh, there's no question that there are so many different people in Emmanuel Faith that have impacted me through the years. I can think back to um, several different Sunday school teachers through the years. I remember very specifically um, eighth grade missions conference um, that we had uh, set up in the uh, family center. There was all the different booths and at that time MAF was based up in Ramona and they flew a helicopter down they wheeled it into the gym and they set that up as their booth. So you had all these other mission organizations with three little trifold, you know, picture things. And then you had a helicopter sitting there, a real helicopter that they had flown in. And I was fascinated with it. I think I spent all my time at that conference just hanging out at that helicopter. And, and it definitely made a significant part in terms of me heading to the organization I went to and working with them the last 25 years. So. Uh, it's numerous things like that through the years I can point to. Uh, I think of high school as a real time of spiritual growth for me. Uh, Greg Lane uh, played a significant part in my life, in my, uh, in my own spiritual development. I think that was probably the time I really started to own my faith deeply. And as a result, I think all that input, I think uh, Emmanuel Face emphasis on working overseas, on the needs overseas, uh, was, a, was a big factor in terms of me making the decision to work overseas. I had been back, I'd graduated from Moody, I was working here, and I just started dating Lois. I had just started the process of joining MAF, went through their evaluation when we found out that he had was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. Um, so it was obviously a challenging time, but again, um, it was a chance where dad was, he lived out who he was as much in the pulpit as he did at home. I mean, there was not a difference between the two. And he, when he said, uh, when he made his comment, um, I've taught you how to live, now I'm going to teach you how to die. Um, I still, I still remember that very clearly. And, uh, and his, his faith was strong throughout his, um, throughout the process. It was obviously very challenging. Um, he knew God was in control and whether he wanted to, uh, uh, heal him through a medical procedure or heal him miraculously, he knew it was possible. But by the same token, his desire was that if God was glorified more through his passing, that he, he was happy, he was, he was happy for that to be the plan as well. He didn't enjoy the cancer, you know, he didn't enjoy the pain, um, but by the same token, he, he was very much trusting the Lord and acknowledging that he could, uh, God would use it for his glory. And that's what we all see very clearly. We see clearly how God allowed the transition to Dennis um, as pastor during that time. And, and I think I think it just, it, it was one of those things God worked together to, to make the transition smoother for the church and a, a, as a positive thing. Um, and the impact that Dennis had, I think, in many of our lives as well as that my dad had in Dennis's life, I think was all intertwined in there. And um, anyway, it was, it was, we could look back after my dad's death and clearly see how God used it to glorify himself through that whole process. Let's commit ourselves to obey. Let's be filled with the Spirit of God. Let's make an impact on that world out there, okay?